My name is Teresa Porpelia. And I'm Jared Porpelia. So Jared and I met probably about 11 years ago. We started talking on Facebook, which is weird, but we're both from the same place in New York. I was already living in Arizona. He's like, there's just something about you. I really want to like pursue a relationship with you. I was young, like 24, and I'm like, eh, I don't know about a long distance relationship. Not really into that. But we gave it a try and within a month he moved to Arizona. I grew up in a broken home and my parents were divorced when I was in fourth grade. So I was kind of dead set that I was never gonna get married. I didn't want to be married and this guy was relentless. Um, he proposed after two months of knowing me and we got married seven months later in Hawaii and we have just celebrated our 10 year wedding anniversary. We have Luca is seven and Juliana just turned five. So those are our two children. And Luca uh, is a first grader at um, Gilbert Christian and Juliana will be a kindergartner next year. So very excited about her getting uh, into Gilbert Christian and getting to experience all that Gilbert Christian has to offer. I think what led us to Gilbert Christian was we go to Christ Church of the Valley and we've been going to Christ Church of the Valley for uh, 10 years. We started a neighborhood group and our group was mostly like young adults our age. I met a young woman there. So she became my good friend and she actually does a bunko group the third Thursday of every month and mostly all of the moms are Gilbert Christian moms. And then um, as I became a mom and just with all the craziness going on in the world and public schools and my anxiety really kicked in, like I was having like a hard time thinking of letting my child go where somebody else is taking care of him all day and it's no longer me. So we started to tour charter schools and public like schools and private schools and um, every single one I still had anxiety. I was like, oh, I don't know, like maybe I should homeschool. Like I was just so nervous. And so finally, Gilbert Christian was about 30 minutes from our home in Mesa. We got a tour of the campus and it was the very first school that I toured that I thought to myself, okay, I could see my child going here. I have, I'm at peace about it and let's let's see. And at the time that we signed up, it was a wait list, but it was a small wait list. And by the end of the summer, we were cleared. He got to grow, he learned to read, he made so many great friends. And you know, it was just a, such a positive experience, even though it wasn't the normal experience for that year. Yeah, so something I, I prayed for um, as we were doing this ride last year, we because we just moved to Gilbert this this school semester, um, was just closer community, and now we're 500 feet from the school, um, and some of Luca's closest friends are all within a few miles. So it's been really nice to connect with other families, um, you know, at school, but also outside of school with different activities and sports and just really doing community and life together. Um, really have enjoyed that and looking forward to that uh, for Juliana as well um, for the years to come. So there's there's something to, to say about the, the statement, it takes a village to raise a child. And I feel that it's all parents' responsibilities to raise their children. It first starts with the parents right at home. Um, but it's re reassuring that the same uh, biblical principles and morals and ethics that we're teaching our kids at home uh, is also being reinforced at Gilbert Christian with their faculty. Just having that reassurance is, you can't put a price tag on that. And especially in today's world, not saying that our kids should be sheltered uh, by any means, but they should know what's right and wrong in, in God's eyes. And if we're doing that at home and then Gilbert Christian is reinforcing that, that just sets our kids up for success. And all the families that they're surrounded by, the friends that they're meeting and making. And um, I think like every parent teacher conference like has just kind of like blown me away. Like we start and end in prayer every single time. And just knowing that my teacher is praying for my children, um, it's such a good feeling. It just really takes any of that anxiety or discomfort away of like letting your child go out into the world on their own, right? Like you know they're in good hands.